Hello, my friends. This is Eleonora, and I welcome you to the Light in You Yoga and Wellness channel. I am sorry that I haven't been on top of my videos, so I would like to share a new video today and a practice to open up hips and help you release any stress that you're holding in the hip area. Okay, it's going to be a short practice that you can do anytime. Um, whenever you want to. So we're going to start today in a seated position. Come join me into the mat. Just our usual regular seated position, cross-legged. Straighten up your spine, roll the shoulders, release the tension. Try to um, imagine that something is pulling you up towards the sky. Gently close your eyes and we're going to take three deep breaths in here. Inhale and exhale side out. Inhale and exhale. And one more deep, deep breath. Inhale and exhale close your mouth return to normal breathing and just set an intention for yourself in the next inhale gently open your eyes and we're going to start with inhale and reaching both of your hands up towards the sky and as you exhale, bring the right arm down, left arm up and over your head and reach it, reach it, reach it. Bend the um, right elbow and reach the opposite hand above your head and towards the side. So you're getting this nice, beautiful stretch on the left side of the body. I'm going to inhale here and exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Both arms reach towards the sky. And as you exhale, bring the left arm down on the mat. Bend the elbow. Right arm up and over your head. Stretching the right side of the body this time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the stretch on this side of the body. As you inhale, bring both of your arms up and exhale, hands towards your heart. We're going to inhale and reach the hands up again. And as you exhale, bring the left arm towards the right knee and bring the right arm towards the back of your mat, right next to your bum. Inhale and straighten your back and as you exhale, gently push your hand into the knee and rotate your shoulders towards the back so that you are looking towards the right shoulder. And stay here in this gentle seated twist. Be gentle with your body. No need to push yourself too much. Just inhale here and exhale. Inhale here and exhale. As you inhale, lift both of the hands up towards the sky and exhale the right hand to the left knee and the left hand next to the mat, uh, next to the bum, right on the mat and gently slowly straighten your back Push the arm into the knee and as you exhale, gently twist towards the back so that you're looking towards the left shoulder this time and trying to keep your spine nice and long. Okay, inhale and exhale. Inhale here. And exhale. Nice gentle twist. Inhale, bring your hands back up. 
reach, 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 and exhale down, hands to heart. With the next inhale, we're gonna bring both of the sole feet, uh, soles of the feet together. Help yourself a little bit with your hands, pushing the hands into the mat, straighten your back. Make sure you are sitting nice and straight. Relax your hips, no need to do anything to, to strain your body. Be gentle to yourself and treat your body with love. So you can stay here in this position trying to keep your spine nice and long or you can bring your hands forward, grab the feet, um, inhale, roll your shoulders, straighten your back and start lifting your knees up and down gently and slowly, not putting any pressure on your hips just let them open them naturally. Inhale here, move your hips, feel the difference in both of your hips. Keep breathing, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe move just a little more. And when you're ready, bring both knees together and come back into tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Come into this straight neutral spine. Inhale, lift your tailbone and head up, creating the arch in your back into cat and cow position. Really pushing yourself away from the mat, creating this beautiful arch. And as you exhale, round your back, bring the chin to chest, tuck your tailbone, really feel the stretch on your backside. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, once again, reach your tailbone and crown of the head up. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, reach one last time up into cat. And exhale, round your back. Come back to neutral, tuck your toes and push your hips up into downward dog position. So spreading your fingertips, pushing and reaching your chest towards the knees. Really your hips all should be looking up towards the sky. Slightly bend your knees and stay here for a couple of breaths. Feeling and noticing um, how you feel in this Pose, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. With the next inhale, Bend your knees, um, lift your right leg up towards the sky, keeping your hips looking forward. Keep breathing and reaching your head up towards the sky. Make nice circles with feet if you'd like. And push the heel towards the back wall as if you were going to step on this wall behind you. And with the next inhale, bend your knee, stack the right hip over the left hip and open up the hips towards the side, keeping the both shoulders um, aligned the same way as in down dog, but opening up the hips towards the side and making circles with your feet if you'd like. Stay here and breathe, inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale, 
and exhale. Bring the right leg back into down dog position. And when you're ready, you're going to inhale and reach your left leg up towards the sky this time into a three legged dog. Make nice circles with your feet. Inhale and exhale here. Now slowly bring the left foot lower as if you were going to step on the back wall with your left foot. And when you're ready, bend the knee, open up the hips to the other side. So your left hip is stacked over the right hip this time. Feel free to make any circles with your feet and really feel the stretch in the hips here. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep breathing. Now bring the foot back into down dog position. Bend the knees and come into tabletop. And bring both of your hips towards the, towards the heels. Reach the hands forward towards the front of the mat. And come into child's pose, resting your forehead down on the mat. Inhale here. And exhale. Release any tension. Notice if you have any tension in any part of the body right now. Keep breathing nice and slow. And with the next inhale, come back into table, tabletop and reach into down dog position. Inhale, reach your right leg up. As you exhale, bring it forward and step it forward in between the hands in runner's lunge. The left knee down on the mat. Push your front knee forward so you're going to feel the stretch under your right hip. Inhale here and straighten your back. Really push your both legs in opposite directions. Feel the stretch in your hips. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. As you inhale, reach your hands up towards the sky into a low lunge. Inhale here. And, and as you exhale, bring the left arm forward, right arm towards the back, opening your chest towards the right shoulder. So we're in a gentle twist here. Stay here and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Now reach the right arm down to the thigh and reach the left arm up and above your head into a nice gentle back bend. Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands down to the mat, tuck the toes, and step back into three-legged dog, bringing the right leg up into the air. As you exhale, bring the, uh, the right leg down into down dog. Inhale, bend your knees, and, and slowly lower yourself on the mat. Inhale and reach your chest up into baby cobra. Exhale. Push yourself up just a little bit more, but make sure that your back lower back muscles are working and you are not pushing you're not putting a lot of weight on your hands. As you exhale, bring your head down on the mat and rest on one side of the head. Stay here. Inhale and reach your chest forward and up just a little bit. Again into baby cobra. 
inhaling reaching up and as you exhale come back and rest on the other cheek this time notice how your body feels inhale and lift yourself in a higher this time into cobra and as you exhale push your hips back towards the heels and come into child's pose just for a moment tuck your toes and push your hips back into down dog position inhale reach your right leg up towards the sky and as you exhale bring the right heel towards the left wrist and place it near the um, hips we are preparing for pigeon pose so untuck your left toes get ready the closer the right heel to the body is easier it is with time you wanna when you would like to challenge yourself you would want to move the heel parallel towards the, the front of the mat um, also it's very important to remember that in pigeon pose we have a tendency to fall towards our right hip or left hip uh, so it's very important that you lift yourself and and find balance right under the so that you, your center is right under the pelvic floor. Inhale, straighten your back. And as you exhale, stay here. Inhale. And slowly start coming down if you'd like to challenge yourself um, bring the upper body down and you can stay on the forearms or if you want to challenge yourself more you can come down even lower and feel the stretch in the hips you want to ease into the stretch and when you're ready you can you can place your forehead down on the mat if that's reachable for you and if it's not you just staying wherever you feel comfortable or wherever you feel challenged enough and this pose is intense very intense so please breathe through it inhaling and exhaling with each exhalation send some power some love into those muscles that are feeling stressed right now that are feeling strained keep breathing slowly and with the next inhale gently lift yourself back up tuck the left toes and reach the right leg up into three-legged dog or bend the knee open up the hip you can make circles with your feet if you need to and as you exhale bring the right foot down straighten the left foot and open up yourself into back bend and wild thing so reaching the left arm up and above and as you exhale come back into down dog position stay here for a couple breaths feel the notice the difference inhale and lift the left leg up this time and as you exhale bring the left heel towards the right wrist this time into pigeon on this side untuck untuck the right toes prepare for pigeon pose align the heels so if your heels are closer to your hips that's okay um, if you would like to challenge yourself you move your heels a little bit further away from your body and uh, make sure that the left foot is active and, uh, and activated to protect the knee find the balance 
straighten your back inhale here and as you exhale start easing into position and folding forward slowly and gently you can come into forearms and stay here or if you want to go further you can slowly move your hands further forward or you can place the forehead down on the mat and stay here and breathe No rushing, knees into position. With each exhale, breathe some love into your hips, into the areas that are strained right now. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep breathing. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Start lifting yourself back up slowly and gently. Tuck the toes and reach the left leg up into three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open up the hips and start reaching the left leg down towards the mat into wild thing keeping the left knee bent straighten the right leg and open up into this nice back bend reaching the left arm up and over your head and when you're ready come back to down dog inhale here and exhale Bend your knees and slowly start walking towards the front of the mat. Grab the opposite elbows and swing side to side, releasing the upper body completely. Keep your hips looking up towards the sky and feel the stretch in your hamstrings and release in the lower back. With the next inhale, heel toe your feet towards the edges of the mat. Place the hands on the mat and sit your hips low into squat position. Open up your hips here, so maybe move to the right, to the left. Feel the stretch in your hips, how they're opening up and bring the hands to heart center gently pushing your knees away from each other with your elbows sit here and breathe inhale and exhale inhale and exhale bring the hands down to the mat and lift your hips up Bringing the feet back together. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Grab your shins. And maybe this time you can fold a little deeper. And maybe you can notice a little bit of change in your hamstrings. They are longer now. And maybe you feel a little bit more stretch right now. As you inhale, come into seated position, bringing your hips down on the mat. Adjust yourself so that you are sitting right on the sit bones. 
straighten your back, straighten your legs, roll your shoulders, inhale here, and as you exhale, bring your heart towards the knees. You can bend your knees a little bit so that it's easier to reach forward, but really you're trying to reach your heart towards the knees. Try not to round your back. Stay here, inhaling and exhaling. Maybe going a little bit deeper with each exhalation. And when you're ready, you can start moving your, straightening your legs a little bit more and maybe this time you can fold a little bit deeper so again inhale flat back and as you exhale come closer come lower down heart to the knees feel the stretch here As you inhale, one more last breath. And slowly lift yourself back up into seated. Bring both of the hands up behind your hips and bring both knees towards the right side and then both knees towards the left side and keep swinging the knees from one side to another side. Come back to center and slowly lower yourself on the back, preparing for the bridge pose. Bring both heels closer to your hips. Knees are looking forward. They're not falling apart into different directions. Hands down on the mat. Inhale and lift your hips up towards the sky, bringing the shoulder blades together, keeping your knees nice and looking forward. Keep breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. And gently lower the hips down on the mat and feel the ground. Notice how your body feels on the mat. It feels so good. You're gonna do it once again, so inhale and lift your hips up towards the sky bring the shoulder blades together keeping your knees nice and straight push your hips up and as you exhale bring the hips down on the mat inhale and bring both of your knees to chest hug your knees and massage your lower back, siding, uh, swinging side to side. Must feel really nice right now. Exhale, bring the heels down on the mat. And get ready for the wheel pose. If you've been practicing for a while and you would like to do wheel, then go ahead and do it. If wheel hasn't been in your practice and you're a beginner, then you can just go ahead and, and do a Shavasana right away. So in wheel pose, we're going to bring hands towards the shoulders and place them on the mat. Inhale and lift your hips up just like you've done in the bridge. And then slowly push your hands into the mat and lift into the full wheel. 
uh, pushing your chest forward and maybe bringing the heels just a little closer. Keep breathing in here. Inhale and exhale. Slowly bring your head down and then the upper back, the lower back and both of your legs down on the mat and prepare for our favorite pose which is Shavasana. Bringing the both of your legs towards the edges of the mat, opening up your hands, palms are looking towards the sky, the lower back is on the mat, the neck is on the mat. So we we're going to stay here and give yourself last scan of your body. Breathing nice and gentle. Notice how your face muscles are relaxing. Release any tension in your neck muscles. And travel with your skin down throughout the whole body. Notice any tension in the shoulders and let it go. Release any tension in the upper back, middle back, lower back. The chest and abdominal muscles. Relax them. Release any tension in the hips, in your thighs. Check in with your knees, shins, toes. arms, fingertips, and let go of any tension anywhere in the body. Keep breathing slowly and smoothly. And when you're ready, roll on your right side of the body, keeping your eyes closed. Just come back into the room with your mind. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, Gently push yourself back up into seated position. Bring your hands down on the knees, close your eyes. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bring the hands to forehead, we bow together and we say together Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this practice. I hope that you liked it, that you enjoyed it and you feel much relaxed right now. Um, if you actually like this video please like and comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe. And until the next time, namaste.